a reading from the first book of Kings. The queen of Sheba, having heard of Solomon's fame, came to test him with subtle questions. She arrived in Jerusalem with a very numerous retinue and with camels bearing spices, a large amount of gold and precious stones. She came to Solomon and questioned him on every subject in which she was interested. King Solomon explained everything she asked about, and there remained nothing hidden from him that he could not explain to her. When the Queen of Sheba witnessed Solomon's great wisdom, the palace he had built, the food at his table, the seating of his ministers, the attendance and garb of his waiters, his banquet service, and the burnt offerings he offered in the temple of the Lord, she was breathless. The report I heard in my country about your deeds and your wisdom is true, she told the king. Though I did not believe the report until I came and saw with my own eyes, I have discovered that they were not telling me the half. Your wisdom and prosperity surpass the report I heard. Blessed are your men, blessed these servants of yours, who stand before you always and listen to your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, whom it has pleased to place you on the throne of Israel. In his enduring love for Israel, the Lord has made you kin to carry out judgment and justice. Then she gave the king 120 gold talents, a very large quantity of spices and precious stones. Never again did anyone bring such an abundance of spices as the queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. 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 Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light, bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just members wisdom. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The mouth of the just members wisdom. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory be to you. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters a man from outside can defile that person. But the things that come out from within 
uh, what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable, and he said to them, Are you, uh, even you likewise, without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile, since it enters not the heart, but the stomach, and passes out into the latrine? Then he declared all foods clean, but what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils come from within and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, this is a very self-explanatory gospel reading that all of us can identify with. We often hear stories about or statements about how we use our mouth, how we use our tongues. That the things you say have the power to make or, or make your life, somebody's life, or the life of a society or a community. So it is important that we constantly check the way we talk, when to talk, when not to talk, and the things we say. The emphasis Jesus is making is quite clear that it is presupposed that whatever comes out of us in terms of our words and our actions are not accidents. They are things we ponder over. They are things we think about. They are things we reflect about. And then we say, I will carry this out. And he mentions a number of them. And all of them are as a result of our thoughts. So our thoughts, indeed, are the most powerful areas of our lives. When you are enslaved by your thoughts, it is by far the worst form of enslavement. So it's important that constantly we keep our thoughts in check. And for me, the only way you keep them in check and bring them as close as possible to the way God or Christ wants of us is to place yourself in the shoes of that person that you sort of feel you want to project some evil to or to do something that is not good to. Place yourself in that person's shoes or that person's place. And then that will remind you that if you do not like it, obviously then you don't do it to another person. So today, let us check the way we talk, how we talk, when to talk, and the things that we say. Because your words and actions can be a manifestation of the way and of who you are and the way you do things. Let us rise and bring our needs and intentions to the Lord. Let us pray for the ministers of the Lord that they may be endowed with a spirit of wisdom so that there may remain nothing hidden from them which they cannot explain for the building of the faithful. 
We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never be defiled by evil thoughts, unchastity, arrogance, or folly, but produce the fruits of pure and grace-filled hearts before the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have suffered from the evil coming out of the hearts of others, for the oppressed, the sick, and the hungry, that our loving prayers may lift their hearts and spirits and bring them help in their need. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who sleep in death, that by God's mercy, their purification may be swiftly accomplished and they may be admitted to the kingly banquet in the house of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the silence of our hearts, let's bring our needs and intentions to the Lord. God, our Father, we thank you for speaking to us this morning and the grace to bring our needs and intentions to you. We ask that in your love and in your kindness, you may grant them. We ask all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. 